Did you know? Your VO2 max is one of the strongest predictors of longevity. The VO2 max is the single greatest predictor of lifespan. Of VO2 max is your body's ability to use oxygen, your engine size. And a bigger engine means more energy, faster recovery, and a lower risk of disease or early death. Bit deep. That's why I make my clients train their heart, which is the number one muscle. And before you think I'm a cardio guy, I'm not. I'm an iron bro. I love lifting more than I'll ever love cardio. The pumps, the veins, cheeky swarfy, and then the bathroom after a session. Someone walks in and you're like, but here's the truth. No heart equals no lifting. Lift only training feels fine when you're young until one day it doesn't. Energy drops, motivation fades. You start wondering, where the fuck did my energy go? As parents, we've got more responsibilities than ever. So it's easy to blame parenthood for feeling like shit. However, I can tell you firsthand, being fit and massively enhances your life, your energy, no question. This happened to me. My VO2 max was about 36 when I was about 36. And I didn't even notice the decline because it happens at a deep cellular level. But fatigue quietly became my normal. I honestly thought I just picked up a virus that never left. You know, you know, as a parent. VO2 max declines so slowly, you don't even feel it happening. Bosh! Zero drive, zero energy, zero desire to do anything. After the age of 30, it drops around 10 to 15% per decade. If you're sitting at a 40 VO2 max at an age of 30, you are down to about 30 VO2 max by the age of 50, which by today's standards is still young. A VO2 max of mid 20s by age 60 and low 20s or less by 70. And that's when the real problems begin. You need a VO2 max of around 30 just to handle stairs or a simple hike without gasping for air. Anything lower and daily life starts to feel like a workout. After around 18 months of working on my cardio alongside my lifting, my Apple Watch VO2 max is now 52 in the high category for my age. My Whoop has me at 55 and my field test like a Cooper Run or a beat test usually land me around 58. I still feel a little bit skeptical. So let me give you another angle. You can only build so much muscle over a 10 to 15 year span before you reach or at least get close to your genetic potential. By this point, it's like watching paint dry anyway. So while you're developing your muscular system, why not also build your aerobic system and have two targets so that when one slows, you can focus on the other. Aim for three to four strength sessions a week and three to four cardio sessions per week. Here's a simple VO2 max workout. Four minutes hard in around zone five, four minutes easy. Repeat this three to four times. The benefits, stronger heart and cardiac output, more mitochondria, your body's energy factories, lower resting heart rate, more efficient heart, and a higher heart rate variability, meaning more recovered, more resilient, and more energy to train. Independence well into your 70s, 80s, and even 90s. Let's make becoming a centenarian, someone who lives past the age of 100, a normal aspiration. Watch Live to 100, Secrets of the Blue Zones on Netflix. A bigger engine, your heart, and VO2 max equals a better life. Ignorance is bliss until health becomes your number one problem.